Here is Almost Comedy segment, Helene Witt, the news with Helene Witt. You are watching the Almost Comedy News Network. You give us 10 minutes. We give you an ulcer. And now Helene Witt, the news with Helene Witt. Okay, well, new research has revealed that men with male pattern baldness are especially susceptible to the COVID-19 virus and yeah. complaining in a diner with Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> 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 new York started lifting restrictions on restaurants this week across the city. A collective squeak of relief could be heard from all its rats. <laughs> First stop, Ray's Pizza. <laughs> uh, so the pizza rat, if you didn't get that. <laughs> the Department of Motor Vehicles has also reopened its doors after a long three months. Inside, they discovered dust, cobwebs, and 83 people still waiting for their number. <laughs> <laughs> in Singapore, robot dogs are being used to enforce social distancing in public parks. On a related note, pooper scoopers in Singapore are now required to accept batteries. <laughs> Three additional police officers involved in the tragic Minneapolis incident have been charged with aiding and abetting. Seems they gambled and lost. <laughs> uh, uh, a call to defund America's local police departments has captured the public's imagination, but has failed to capture any criminals. <laughs> <laughs> Republican Colin Powell announced he will be voting for Joe Biden. President hey immediately tweeted, I have great respect for General Powell. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag his mother wears combat boots. <laughs> <laughs> First Lady Melania Trump has had a new prenuptial agreement drawn up. To make sure it is completely understood by the president, the new re prenup has been written in crayon, it includes <laughs> lots of pictures, and is attached to a tweet. <laughs> Hashtag twat. <laughs> England's Prince Andrew is wanted for questioning about his participation in the Jeffrey Epstein sex scandal. In a statement, the FBI said, we will not rest until he joins Prince Albert in the can. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wednesday was National Ball Ballpoint Pen Day, which, even on a slow news day, gets very little ink. Okay. <laughs> so on, did you hear that part? Two on that. Okay. <laughs> social justice advocate advocates. Social justice advocates have demanded that the racially Tinge film Gone with the Wind's Oscar Awards be taken away and immediately given to the movie White Chicks. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> <laughs> and the White Brothers have been quoted as saying, Frankly, my dear, it's about damn time. <laughs> <laughs> In the new cartoon, Bugs Bunny's arch rival, Elmer Fudd, will not carry a gun. When asked if Elmer's character would still hunt rabbits, Rabbit. producers <laughs> responded saying, yes, but now it will be very, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and in the remake, Peppy Le Pew gets deported back to France. <laughs> yeah. uh, now in our extra special entertainment segment in our Paul McCartney news for the day <laughs> during the pandemic when so many people are out of work Paul is charging $600 for the brand new Flaming Pie CD, DVD and record packet 
All I can say is cuckoo ka Paul. Cuckoo. Our ace reporter, Elaine DeWitt. Thank you. I saw her once punch Sue Simmons in the face. It was amazing. <laughs>